I heard a familiar voice coming into Starbucks, and I looked over to my left, and it was him again. It was Tanner Fox again coming in, and before I could even say anything, he... So I decided today that I should make a video telling you guys why I started making YouTube videos. Growing up, I always loved taking pictures and creating videos. Still to this day, it's one of my favorite things to do. A couple years ago, when I was sitting in my dorm room in university, I came across a video on YouTube that was called YouTuber Almost Dies Crashing Off Cliff or something like that. And it grabbed my attention, so I clicked on it and I watched it. And it was when Tanner Fox was with his friends and they fell off the cliff. And uh, that's when I first found out about Tanner Fox. I started watching his videos. I found them super entertaining. I loved how a person my age was building this community around entertaining people on YouTube by doing fun things with his friends. In one of Tanner Fox's videos, there was a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, who also goes by the name of Gary V. And I found him super interesting, so I started following him. I would watch Gary V's videos on YouTube, I would listen to his podcasts, I even bought his books. By doing that, it just changed my life so much. I was learning new and interesting things all the time that school just never taught me. From there, I learned about more YouTubers and more entrepreneurs and continued learning more and more and more every day. I started learning the business side of YouTube. And once I learned that, that was just super inspiring to me. I told myself that I wanted to start making YouTube videos, so I tried. I filmed videos, I edited videos, but I never actually posted them on YouTube because I didn't think they were that good. I always wanted them to be absolutely perfect. I always worried about what other people would think of me, what they would think of the videos. And uh, yeah, it was just, I couldn't get over that. So I told myself, you know what? If I meet the person who inspired me to want to do this, which was Tanner Fox, I would not be able to give myself any more excuses. This summer, as part of my trip down the west coast, one of the places I went to was San Diego, which from here, where I live in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, is about 2,600 kilometers, which is 1,600 miles. Not very close to here, um, but I told myself that I had to do it. When I got to the San Diego area, one of the things I like to do when I'm traveling is find viewpoints of the area that I'm in. Uh, it makes for great pictures and just to get an overall good view of where you are. I looked up viewpoints in the San Diego area and went to the nearest one. Once I got to the viewpoint, I couldn't believe it. There was a truck there and it was a Ford Raptor and I was just thinking to myself like, what are the odds that this is Tanner Fox's Ford Raptor? So I got out of the car, I walked up to where the viewpoint was and sure enough, it was him. He was sitting there, and I couldn't believe it. I took in the view, I talked to him, got a picture with him, and then left. After I left, I posted the picture on Instagram and tagged him in it, and just a little bit after that, I got a notification saying, Tanner Fox liked your post, and Tanner Fox commented on your post. So when I posted the picture on Instagram, I wrote a caption that said, Thank you, Tanner, for being such an inspiration. You truly have changed my life. You inspire me every day to go after my dreams to create a life that makes me happy. I will forever be grateful for this moment. It will push me to work harder and never give up. Hope to see you again in the future. This is where it got kind of crazy because the next morning I was sitting in Starbucks and I heard a familiar voice coming into Starbucks and I looked over to my left and it was him again. It was Tanner Fox again coming in and before I could even say anything, he waved and said, hey, what's up? So he went and got his drink and after getting his drink, he came over to the table that I was at and told me that we have to take another picture. I couldn't believe that the person I looked up to and watched every day on YouTube came over to me and told me that we need to take another picture. He told me how he appreciated the post that I posted about him. It still blows my mind today thinking about it. I never actually thought that I would meet him and not only did I meet him once, but twice in two days. Still can't believe it. Thank you so much, Tanner, for taking the time out of your day to talk with me on both those days. It really does mean a lot and it's pushed me to start my own channel and start creating content. Another super important reason I started making YouTube videos is to document my life. So say in 10 years from now, I can look back on these times and look back at all the things that I did. There have been moments where I wish I would have vlogged, like when I was standing on the sidewalk watching Dwayne Johnson, AKA The Rock, film his movie Skyscraper, or when I went to the Riverdale set and met KJ Apa and Cole Sprouse. If any of these things happen again, I will definitely make sure to vlog it so if you want to see it, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.